How would you like to open a present early? Okay. Yes, please. Don't tell your mum. Thanks, Dad. You like bikes, don't you, James? Yes, Daddy. I like cars too. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter. I didn't mean to fall asleep. I know. It's fine. How's your head? It's better. Can I have a hug? You decorated the tree. I can see. It's wonderful. Well done. OK, boys. Time for bed. Off you go upstairs. Who's telling the story tonight? Daddy. Don't forget to phone your mum and dad and let them know what we're doing for Christmas. I don't know why they celebrate. Everyone likes a good party. I'll call them tomorrow when I get back from Newton. I thought we were spending the weekend together. I'm sorry, Mary. I promised I'd preach. It's three days before Christmas. Do you really need to? I believe I should. It's the right thing to do. I hate it when you're not here. I know. I like it when we're all together. I need you. I'll only be gone for a few hours. I'll be back by dinner. And then we can wrap some presents. It'll be fun. I want some chocolate. I'll get you some. Am I a good mother? Of course you are. I need you too, you know. Suddenly, the door behind him slammed shut. Bang! He peered into the darkness. Goose pimples ran down the back of his neck and made him shiver. Oh no, he said under his breath. It's you! And we'll finish it tomorrow. Dad! Dad. <laughs> Sorry boys, but it's really late and you both need to sleep. Come on. Dad? Yeah? What's wrong with Mum? Nothing, James. She's fine. Well, she was crying. I know. That's because... She's been a bit poorly lately, and she needs to sleep. Come on, let's pray. I want to be a Christian. I want to be like you. OK. <laughs> well, that's great. What about you, Paul? Do I have to? Well, I'm not forcing you to believe. It's what you want, though, isn't it? Yes, that's true. I'd rather not. OK, um... This is no light thing. You can't just do this for me. I want to, Daddy. OK. Close your eyes. Thank you that James wants to become a Christian. Pray with me. Please forgive me for being naughty. Please forgive me for being naughty. Change my heart forever. Change my heart forever. And save me. And save me. Amen. Amen. I don't feel any different. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this tomorrow. It's very late, and you two do need to sleep. Good night. Night, boys. Love you both.
any relatives we could call. Don't worry, we'll take care of things for now. What's going on? Hello, I'm Joyce Seville from next door. We're going to go and buy a Christmas tree today. Would it be helpful if we took the boys with us? I don't think other people in the world would share the view that there's mounting chaos. Unbelievable. Two more years of running this place and we retire, so what does it matter? He waltzes in from the West Indies, country's on its knees. That's the best he can do. Absolute shambles. Tea? You're going to need something stronger than that. Coffee. Hello, Margaret Walker speaking. How can I help you? Talk. Yes, I can talk. Oh. I see. What's happened? Please, no. What's up, Rose? No. What's the matter? Uh, right. What is it? Right. How did it happen? I see. How's my uh, daughter-in-law, Mary? I understand, yes. Apple office. We decorated our tree yesterday. It's fake. Why aren't we at church today? I thought you might like to come with us. Dad is speaking at another church. Is that why we're allowed here? Yes, James. That's right. All safe and sound. Ah, oh, thank you. Hello, boys. Grandad. Where have you been? Gone to get a Christmas tree. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Why are you here? How would you like to come and spend Christmas with us? That's brilliant. Ah. Paul? What do you think? Yeah, sure. Ah. Why not? How are you all going to fit in the car? Uh, it's no problem because your mum will stay here for a couple of days. And uh, then she'll come and spend Christmas Day with us. Is Daddy going to come along too? Yes, James. You, your Daddy's going to come along later. He's on a business trip. My Daddy's preaching in the church in Newton. Oh. Are you sure you don't want me to stay with you? I need you to look after the boys. Are you going to be okay? Please. My minister's on the way. I'll wait. I need you to look after the boys. I don't want them here for their sake. Well, if you're sure, I'll see you in a couple of days. And if you need anything, you call. Who's going to pull a cracker, then? Oh, Edward. Paul, here you are. You take one in. James can. You both can. Here you are. Take that. You ready? One, two, three. Oof. Right. What'd you get? A green frog. Oh, lovely. What about you? A plastic ring. Plastic ring? Oh. Give it to your nana. Save me having to buy an anniversary present, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some more tea? Mary. Mary. What's wrong with Mum? She's upset because Dad's not here. 
Mum said he's coming after his meetings. Well, he's not. He is? Mum said he is. You don't get it, do you? Stupid. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Dad, you tell Paul. He's going to tell Paul what? Is he said Dad's not coming up after work? He's right, he's not. Why? Why didn't you go and talk to your mum about that? Did he have an argument? He's not coming, simple as that. He's joking with me. I'm not joking. I know meetings. what your mum said. He's not coming. No. He's not coming. Why? Because he's dead. Your dad's dead. No. I'm sorry. But mum said. I'm sorry. I'm proud to say that Peter was a friend of mine. He was a, uh, a well-loved member of this church, a caring husband and father, a talented teacher, a gifted lay preacher. He was I'm a psychiatrist, and when Peter first told me about Christianity, I saw no need for God. But his love was so persistent. And his actions always pointed me to Jesus. I knew. Thank you, my brother. I'm going to miss you. Today, we mark the end of Peter's journey on this earth, but we also commend him to the love of Christ because we know that right now he is alive and with God in heaven. Absolute rubbish. Because Peter was a saved man. Mum, where are Paul and James? I don't know, darling. Mary, if there's anything I can ever do for you, please, you just let me know, okay? going to miss that man. You should have told James the truth. I know. It wasn't right telling him his dad was at a meeting. I'm sorry. How are you going to manage? I'm not sure. Well, you can't work, can you? I suppose not. We can help. With the boys, I mean. Funerals aren't the place for children. What's about a chance to say goodbye? Shouldn't put them through it. That's why the boys aren't here. Could damage them. Especially having to listen to all that... Sorry? That nonsense the vicar was spouting. I don't think now's the time. Well, it does make me angry. For some unknown reason, Peter went all religious. Everybody's very upset. Yes, well, dragging us to that church didn't really help. Why could you never respect his beliefs? We have our own opinion about the meaning of life. You believe what you like. 
Peter was your son. And what good came of all that faith? You tell me that. I wish I went to the funeral. Why? I wanted to say goodbye. You'd have got bored and then been upset. No one. Of course you would. Grandad said you're not strong enough to cope. I am. He said that people need to learn to cope and look after themselves. We're on our own now. Hello boys, I'd just like to introduce you to Mr Dunkill here. He's a social worker from the County Council. Hello Paul, James, pleased to meet you both. Right, well I've come to see you today because your mum's very poorly. It's nothing to worry about, but you're going to have to stay with someone else. Just until your mum gets better. What's wrong with her? She's had to go to hospital. Are you able to visit mum in hospital? Not at the moment James, no. I'm afraid she's too poorly. Where are we going? Your church supports a local children's home. We've found places for you there. What's about John? Still arguing with the old bosses about the funding cuts. I don't write the rules, sorry. Have a seat, boys. So, who have we got here then? The Walker boys, referred here by the County Council on the recommendation of their church in Elton. I've uh, got a section one signed by the mother. Okay, boys, you listen to Mr. Wakefield. He'll take care of you for now. I'll pop by later in the week. Look after each other. Hey, come on, chin up. Won't be for long. Okay, boys, come on. This way. Oh, hi, Janet. I've got the Walker boys here. Can you take them over to the flat, please? Yes, Norman. Come on, boys, can you follow me? Thank you. Okay, boys. See you later. Bye. Carol, Martin, Martin. This is Paul and James. Carol. Sorry. Carol, I want you to look after these two boys. And you'll be sharing a room upstairs with Martin. OK. These are your beds. That's your wardrobe. OK. Why are you here? My mum's in hospital. Do you like cars? Yeah. These are mine. It's hands off them. Here, come look at them. Thanks. How long are you going to be here? I don't know. My own dad's said the heating's broken. Oh. They'll be fixed soon, though. We won't be here long, either. 
Come on, you three. Time for bed. Don't forget to say your prayers. Can I have a story? I mean, without the paperwork, no, I mean, our hands are tied. Yep. No, it will. It, if they really are at risk, then. Okay. Yep. It will get back to me when you know. Thanks. Bye. Would you authorise this? Authorise what? There's no way we can find foster parents for two children at once. We just haven't got the carers. In this case, it's the only solution. And we don't have the resources. Let me see the notes. Well, Paul and James Walker were received into care in January. Uh, the father died in a motor accident in December and their mother suffered a recurrence of a depressive illness. Uh, she took an overdose, which led to the boys' reception into care. And why send them to a church children's home? Minimum disruption. The boys are together, they can stay at the same school, and there's continued contact with Elton Church. And how's the mother? Still unstable, can't really cope. What about relatives? Uh, there's been an offer from the grandparents, Margaret and Edward Walker. Well, there you go then. Mary's a Christian, the in-laws are atheists. Does it matter? Well, it would go against her will. And her faith has to be respected? Well, if possible, yeah. Well, clearly it's not possible. Send the boys to the relatives. Well, Mary might get better. I mean, perhaps with a lot of support, we could plan a return home. We could offer home help, daycare during the holidays. Straws, clutching. Keep me posted. Have you stolen things before? Yeah, loads. I didn't even hit your stuff, so you better watch it. I thought we were friends. Well, you could do the dirt. We shouldn't be doing this. Chicken? Yeah, James. If you're not going to do it, then stop following us. Let's do it now. Hi, boys. Hello. Hi, boys. When can we come home? Boys, why don't you all play in the other room? James, come on. You boys have settled in well, as well as can be expected. When my head's clearer, I'll take them back. Mary, the county council will look after your children, but I've been told they can't stay here much longer. Why? This is a church-run children's home. It costs the council too much money. I, I can't take them back yet, John. I can't. I'm not ready. I can't. I know. Obviously, we'd much prefer it if they were with you. But your in-laws have said that they're willing to help. What do you think? No. Why? They don't believe in God. Right. Peter's parents hated everything he stood for. Yeah, I'm sure they'd be respectful of the boys' beliefs. They weren't respectful of their fathers. But at least their family. No. I 
I want what's best for you and the boys. Let's take it one step at a time. John, I do trust you. Mum? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I've got this toy and I want to keep it safe. Mm. Will you look after it for me? You want to play with it here? No, I want you to keep it for me. Alright. Why aren't we going home? I can't. Why? Sorry, I can't. Why are we going home? I'm struggling to cope at the moment. I'm not thinking straight. I love you, though. The central heating's broken. We've got no hot water. You can come home when it's fixed. You can come home then, I promise. OK, Mary. Shall we go? Look what Grandad's got me. Wow. Oh, James! Grandad! A little ray of sunshine. <laughs> this is really neat, Grandad. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome, you're welcome. Grandad? Yes, James? Have you got me anything? James! Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot all about you. I'm so sorry. Hang on. What's this? Well, how about that? There you go. Thank you. <laughs> it's lovely to see everyone. Now, why don't you all go out to play? Yeah, come on, show me the park, eh? Come on, I'll race you there. Last one, there's a billy goat. Come on, James! Right, straight to the point. We want the boys out of here. They must come and live with us. Mary's concerned about your views on faith. The boys can make up their own minds. I want what's best for this whole family. But I have to consider Mary's beliefs. She attempted suicide. I hope you'll think of that too when you consider her beliefs. I wrote Dad a letter. What did you mean? I wrote him a letter saying that I love him and I miss him. Why did you do that? I thought that if I threw it up to the clouds, God might catch it and give it to him. Stupid. I'm not stupid. I just want to be good for Dad. Hey! The 13-year-old was resident at Highfield National Children's Home and she was found hanging from a tree this morning. The death is not being treated as suspicious, but it has raised questions once again over the effectiveness of church-run children's homes. And we beseech thee that we, with all those who are departed in the true faith when you die, thy holy name, what do you think happens to you? May have our perfect I don't know. Is Carol peace. in heaven? I'm sure she is. She committed suicide. Both in body I wonder if she can't go to heaven. Don't be so silly, Paul. In thy eternal and everlasting glory. Do you ever show me my dad? Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Perhaps. Amen. I don't want to die. Shh. Children aren't in danger. I thought they were safe. They are, absolutely. I mean, James has had a few nightmares, but that's to be expected. Paul seems unaffected. I'm really worried, John. Well, we won't get them into another children's home. And it's unlikely we'll find foster parents. Don't look at me like that, John. They aren't going to live with my in-laws. We believe completely opposite things. I'm under a lot of pressure here, from all sides. I'm sorry, I don't have a choice. I'll take them back. Mary. I'll, I'll take them back. I can do that, can't I? Technically, at the moment, yes. I mean, they're under a section one, but... I'll, I'll work hard and I, I'll make things right. I want them home. Can't wait, it's really exciting. Yeah. People lie. 
No, they don't. They do. They tell you things to make you feel better. We are going home. I'm not. See ya. Cases upstairs. Well done, Mary. I'm really happy for you. I know you've got a job to do, but you've been a real friend. Well, if you need anything, social services is only a call away. I'll pop by next week to see how things are going. I look forward to seeing you. You'll be fine. We'll all be fine. Right. Well, have a great evening. Stick or twist? Twist. I'm gonna twist. I've gone over. What have you got? 25. I've got 21 anyway. You bust. Hello, boys. I've got someone I want you to meet. This is George. Hello, boys. Who'd like to go for a picnic? Great. So where did you meet him? In the hospital. Was he a beach? Yes. He really likes you. <laughs> no, don't be silly. Cup of tea? Yeah, thanks. Are you going to get married, Mum? No, no. <laughs> Don't be silly. He's just a friend, that's all. Hi, John. I, I wasn't expecting you. I know. I just thought I'd pop around and see how you're getting on. I'm good. I'm, I'm good, yeah. Good. How are the boys? Great. Giving me the run around, but you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, if you want to be too. Mary, where did you call through? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I have no idea you had company. I was no, it's, it's fine. He's just a friend. Fine. Great. Well, I'll uh, disappear and uh, leave you to it. Thanks, John. It's good to see you. You better go. Yeah. I'm 
Hi, Mum. Bet she's late. Go easy on him, George. I trust him. Are you going to be okay, Mum? Uh, James? That's not a polite question to ask. No, no, it's all right. Things are better now, aren't they? It's just that we're not going to church often. Well, perhaps we could go on Sunday. Do you still love Dad? Yeah. What was the last thing you said to him? I can't remember. I wish I could. I said I wanted to be a Christian, then I prayed with him. I'm trying hard to be good, but I'm just too scared if I die. I think you should just enjoy life while you're young. Being a Christian isn't about being good. It's about trusting Jesus. If you kill yourself, do you go to heaven? What? James! That is not a question to ask. It's not the time, and it's not the place. You do not ask questions George. like that. But Mary, no, he jo needs... George! But Mary! No. I think it's time you left. Mary, it's... No, please, just go. That's what you want? Where have you been? Out. I told you to be back by nine. So? So not only are you late, you've been stealing from me! What do you mean? Paul! So what if I have? It comes out my child benefit. So that is my money for looking after you! How can you be so selfish, so ungrateful? I don't to hear with you! Wish it wasn't Dad who died. It was me, Mum. What? I spent it with sweets. You tell me the truth! I am. Don't look at me like that! Both of you go to bed! I said go to bed! James? James? What's going on? It's going to be fine. I'm just going to have a quick chat with Joyce, all right? Thank you for this, Joyce. It's okay. How is she? Not great. I think she's just very tired. Are you sure you don't want me to take Paul as well? The church are busy organising another carer. You'd be very welcome to come with us, Paul. I'll be fine. Heather would love to see you. I'll give you a call in the morning. me to move the boys from their home back to their mother. I thought she'd cope. You've been involved with that woman for too long, John. That woman has rights. And so do social services. She's getting better. Stronger every time I see her. She's got hysterical psychosis. I think that's a misdiagnosis. She's not histrionic. She's depressed. A, a dependent personality, definitely. Oh yes, and who died and made you psychiatrist? I've seen it before. She needs to be encouraged to stand up for herself. Look, it clearly states here that she is incurable. There is nothing more that can be done for her. And it would be in the best interests of everyone 
if her boys were taken away from her, clearly signed by her GP. I agree she's fragile, but look at her case history. She suffered depression after the birth of her two kids, then to cap it all, her husband dies. Regardless of the cause, Mary is incapable of looking after her children. She's a good mother. Look, stop wasting your time and get those boys in a secure environment. I think you're making a mistake. And I think you're too involved. Your professionalism is right on the line here, John. Yeah, she's in the kitchen. No, she's not Jack. I also at mum and I lied to her. I've made her like this. I'm sure you haven't. Do you think things will be okay? Have faith, James. You have to see this from our point of view, Mary. You disappeared. I was in the bathroom. But the boys were calling you. I didn't hear them. It's not fair on them. You don't care about my children. That's not true. I don't want them to go to my in-laws. Listen, Mary, your GP has said that your condition can't be cured. That you'll never care for your boys again. Do you believe that? It's not up to me. John, please. Sorry, Mary, the decision's been made. Listen, boys, you understand this is for the best. Your mum isn't well at all. But they live miles away. We'll never see it. It won't be as bad as you think. How long are we going for? This is a long-term arrangement. Well, what if mum gets better? I'm sorry, James. I think that's very unlikely. Just relax. Help me. Don't go back. 
It's all right, love. It's all right. It's okay, love. It's okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go. This is all your fault. We should have done it long right. ago. It's all come on, right. come on. Yes, James? What well, should I call you? Sorry? Should I call you Mum, now that you're looking after us? Don't be silly, James. I'm still your nana. Come on. It does look all right, doesn't it? I promise you, it's fine. It'll be fantastic. They'll love it. Hello, boys. What's happened to you two? Nothing. Well, it doesn't look like nothing. We're fine. James fell over on the way home. Oh, well, as long as you're both all right, eh? We're fine, Grandad. Good, right. I've got a big surprise for both of you. Is Mum here? Come here, both of you. Come here, close your eyes. That's it. Turn right. Are you ready? Right, right. off we go. Straight ahead. Stop. Keep them closed. Right. And open your eyes. Well, what do you think? Yes, but it's all right. Oh, right. Fine. James, what do you think? It's lovely. Well, I thought you'd be more excited than that. Well, not five, am I? I like it. I really do. It took us all afternoon. <laughs> it's just... What? I just wish that I could have helped decorate it, that's all. Not while I'm cooking, please. Oh! Uh oh! Paul, I won't tell you again. Out! Out! He's always under my feet. I swear he does it on purpose. Why don't I take them out after lunch? Eh? Work off a bit of that energy. Grandad? Hmm? When did your dad die? Oh, he died a long, long time ago. I was three, I never really knew him. Perhaps you know him when you go to heaven. Well, uh, my dad's in heaven. <sighs> James, when you're dead, you're dead. It's, that's it, over. I believe in God. Well, uh, of course, it's fine if you want to believe that. If you want, you could even go to church. I don't think I want to go by myself. I'm just asking if you think God is real. No, James, I don't. So why are we celebrating Christmas? What? What is Christmas for? Well, it's for the family. <sighs> Look, why don't you go and play with Paul? You've hardly talked to him all day. Now, is there anything you would like us to pray about? Um, yes, please. Can we pray for the Walker family? How are the boys? Still with their grandparents. May I? Oh, yes. Dear Lord, we pray, Lord, that however dark the Walkers' lives may seem right now, that, that they would grow to love you and see the good that your love can bring them. That right now, you 
work in their lives, for your glory, for something wonderful and beautiful. We pray these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. All you ever talk about is God. It's important. No, it's not. It's what Dad believed. So? Doesn't make it true. God's not real. You know why Mum can't look after us, don't you? She's poorly and she needs to get better. No, because she's mad and she keeps trying to kill herself. That's not true. Yes, it is. Mum would rather die than look after us. Do you mind settling yourself? I'm sorry about that. Hey! Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on. Pack it in. Pack it in. Paul, go to your room now. Go on. Go on. Come on, what, what's all this about that? I hate my life. James. James! Way. Guests have just arrived and I've got my eyes in it. I don't know what else to do. Just give it time, love. They will settle down. Will they? I think so, yes. We shouldn't be doing Mary's job for her. I really appreciate these talks, Joyce. I do too. Gets me out of the house. I miss my boys, Joyce. I feel really lost. Why don't you come along on Sunday? We'd all love to see you. I don't know, I just I feel like I've lost my way. Even more reason to come. So, are you settling in? All right. Why do you care? Because I do. A lot. Then why haven't you been to see us in ages? Well, because things have been going so well. It's just a job, isn't it? What is? You only come to see us because you get paid to. Well, it is a job and I do get paid, but that, that doesn't mean I don't care. Mum cared for us. She still does. Mum tried to commit suicide, didn't she? Uh, yes, James, she did. But maybe it was a cry for help. You know, her way of making people listen. No one loves us anymore. 
When are we going to get to see more? Well, perhaps we can organise a visit. Being a Christian is not just based on going to church, praying, or even doing good works. Of course, all these things are important in their own right, but they need to come about as the result of a transformed life, a life transformed by Jesus Christ, who even gives us the faith to believe and trust in him in the first place. When we're in trouble, when we're in distress, we need to run to him and cling to him. We can trust Jesus. He alone is all-powerful, all-seeing, all-knowing. He is the rock of our salvation. Joyce, I've been focused on myself for too long. I've lost my boys. I, I need them home, Joyce. I, I miss them. Excuse me. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt. I just... It's just that it's so good to see you. I'm not playing with him. Bon wants you anyway. Uh, listen, boys, just need a few minutes. So? The boys are always fighting, and Paul can be extremely rude. They're boys, they're boisterous. See, John, the problem is, if they're behaving like this in high season, you know, I mean, Margaret is very worried about the guests. Well, I'm sure given time, they'll settle in. Paul can be so sullen. Sometimes I don't really like him. That's perfectly natural. Have you tried showing the boys some affection? Yes, I take them out, I play with them. Do you offer them any, you know, physical contact? Look here, we're doing our best. It's not been easy. Right, it, it's been stressful, it's been very stressful. Darling, it's all right. <laughs> It's all right. I see, John, the fact is, I just don't know how much longer we can carry on. Right. You do know I can't afford a private doctor. It's all being taken care of. Consider it a, a gift to your family. Thank you. You're very kind. I requested a transfer over of your medical notes. It says here that you suffer from an incurable hysteria. Did anyone ever explain that to you? Do you understand what that means? No, not really. Mm. It means your behavior tends to be overdramatic and attention-seeking when you're under stress, like when you've taken an overdose. I just felt really alone. How are you feeling? Good. Positive. I'm, I'm doing more. I'm, I've got a lot more energy. I'm just almost a chance to follow me this way. Lord, um, I'll come back in the corner. It's first on the right. Get off! Please! Stop this now, stop it! I can't cope with this, get them out! Go on, get them out! Get them out! to be the center of attention? No. When Peter died, I just wanted everybody else to take care of me, my friends, the church, but it just all fell to pieces. You're still anxious though, aren't you? Of course I am. I'm worried I won't get my boys back. What's going on? It's been decided it's best for you both if you stay at a new children's assessment centre in Weston. Then what? Then you'll be assessed and someone somewhere will decide where we, well, where you go from there. Does this mean we'll be able to live with Mum? I doubt it, James. Well, you'll think about it. We're better off with Mum. Every option will be considered at the assessment centre. Sorry, boys, I really am very sorry. What did we do? James, 
It didn't do anything at all, nothing at all. It's just that, you know, your, your nana can't really cope, you see. You didn't do anything, truly. Goodbye, Nana. Thank you for having us. Mary, why are you here? I want to prove that I'm better. I let my boys down and I miss them. I want them home. I have to say that I disagree with this diagnosis. I don't think you're hysterical at all. You're a Christian like Peter, you trust God. That's why I'm feeling better, I know he's with me. Thanks Clement, you've really made things clear. You, you rescued me. Mm -hmm. You rescued yourself, Mary. Well, ultimately I've got to thank God for this. I agree with that. And I don't think you need me anymore. No, no I do. I need you to help me to prove to everyone else that I'm okay. Hello, North Shore Guest House. Oh, Mary, hello. No, the boys aren't here. Oh, I'll just pass you over to Edward. Hello, Mary. No. What, well, social service has not been in touch with you? Well, you see, they've moved the boys from here. Yes, I haven't got the number, no. Why don't you try calling Mary? Hello? Mary, hello? Oh, what a mess. Hello, John, it's Mary Walker. It wasn't the intention of social services to keep you in the dark. You didn't even ask my opinion. With all due respect, your opinion doesn't count. You didn't even call. Why, John? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I want my boys back. With your track record, it's never going to happen. My boys are in care under a section one. You told me. It's my choice if I ask for them back. The boys' move was a de facto transfer. A sole decision of the county council. Your choice was therefore relinquished. Right, but I'm better now, I'm stronger. Give it up, Mary. And accept that social services will do the right thing for you and your children. Who's talking now, John? You are social services. I represent social services. There's no difference. It's like trying to gain control over something and then realising that you don't have to. The more I focus on the Lord and the boys, the more energised I feel. But then something like this happens. I'll vouch for you. I think I've messed up too many times. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Christina. It's good to see you again. Hello, Mary. I think I can help. Right, let's just take a seat here. Right, the meeting will last about an hour. Then we'll call you in to discuss what's going to happen. You two okay? We'll be fine. Paul, I want to go home. What do you think will happen? She will and grow up. This is a complete and utter shambles. It has been very unfortunate. Unfortunate? It's a disgrace. John. 
Perhaps you'd like to explain what the current position is. We need to secure long-term care for James and Paul Walker. Although I think the boys themselves are still hopeful they can go back home to their mother. <laughs> Not a chance. I've received a letter from a solicitor representing the Walkers. The tone of it worries me. Our report's watertight on this. I'll check. Best do check. Forensically. I want everything in writing. Yeah, but the fact that she's hired a solicitor demonstrates a huge improvement in her health and motivation. Oh, I'm glad you can see the positive side. I've implemented a Section 3. They're completely under the authority of the County Council now. If God is real, then maybe he'll find a way to send us him. You can come in now, James. Paul will talk to you in a minute. Good morning, James. My name is Gillian Tutt, and I'm the senior social worker in charge of your case. Now, as you know, we've had a meeting this morning to discuss your future, and we've reached a unanimous decision. Now, I'm sure you're aware that your mother is very ill, and in our opinion, she's not really going to be able to look after you properly. But the good news is, is that we're going to be putting you up for long-term fostering, perhaps even adoption. I want to go home. Oh, come on, James, let's be sensible. We're going to find you a nice new family. What about my brother? Will we be together? Well, we have to be grown up about it. And right now, I think that's very unlikely. I don't think this is what God wants. Oh, really? I think perhaps you should check with God again. Thank you, James. Well done. Come on, Paul. Let's go in. I'm not going to let you. You can't make me. I'll just run away. And we'll end up with the police involved. I don't care. Well, you should care. Now stop being rude and... Paul Walker, come back here this instant. I want to go home. So do I. And any court would agree that you handed over your children freely because you couldn't cope. And when you took them back again, you failed in your duty of care. I know, but I'm better now. Then the authorities took over, quite rightly. They didn't even consult me. Neither did they have to. Whose interests do they have? Well, the boys, in theory. But they didn't consult the boys. Oh, come on. They must have done. No, they, they told them where they were going and what they were doing, but they didn't consult them. Come on, James, we've got to go. Get in the car now, please. When are we going to get to see Mum? Uh, I'm not sure, Paul. James misses her too. sharing with a young lad named Justin. Jeff, sweetie, will you give us a minute? OK, um, we need to get moving on the foster directory, so uh, I'll get a photographer over sooner rather than later. Fine. 
The only other thing is the mother started to make noises about having the boys back. So if they talk about it, just gently... Nip it in the bud. Will do. Listen, these kids have been pushed from pillar to post. They're both... Don't worry. I'll be gentle with them. What are you doing? I'm praying that God will let us be a family again. Why? If God wants us to be a family again, we will be. You really believe that? God will do what's best for us. It's the only hope we've got. Right, boys. We need to put your videos in the foster directory. All you have to do is talk about yourselves. What you love doing, what you want to be when you grow up, that sort of thing. Before we start proceedings, I'd like to congratulate everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Christina Grace and I'm here today as a formal representative of the Walker family. Are you? I assume you're here as an observer. I must remind you that Mary Walker has no legal rights to be heard at this committee. And under Section 3 of the Child Protection Act, all authority over the children is owned by the state. And what about the boys? I beg your pardon? What about the boys? What about their right to be heard? Have you asked the children what they want? They have agreed to our proposals and are fully aware of their mother's condition. But have you asked the boys what they want? You miss the point. They have agreed to our proposals. If the boys want to live with each other and their mum, and their mother wants them home, do you have a right to ignore them? But all the evidence suggests the boys are happy where they are, that the mother suffers from an incurable hysteria. So thank you very much for your input. We have a long agenda and must move on. I'm sorry. On behalf of my clients, thank you for your time. I look forward to your response. We will be in touch after the meeting. Can I leave this with you? What is it? It's from Mary's psychiatrist. He's given her a clean bill of health. Good day. Right, let's take ten minutes, everyone. You are off this case with immediate effect. Okay guys, let's tidy up in here. James, Lego away and straight up for a bath. But I've had one when Kate was on duty. Nice try. Bath, now please. But I've had one. Don't lie. I'm not lying. You're right. Go get Jeff. Don't get out until you're clean. Today, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. I hate you. Yeah. Please be quiet. Shut up if you want to live. It's really late. Get off me! Get off me! Justin, leave it! What? Said. Leave it. Make me. That's enough. Out, all of you.
Hello, I'm here to take Paul and James out for the afternoon. I'm sorry, you are? Their mother. Afraid we didn't know you were coming? I did phone. I'm sorry, Mrs Walker, but we had no notification. I rang and I left a message with Kate, who was on duty. Yes, well, I'm on duty now, not Kate. Surely there isn't a problem with me taking them out? Not without the appropriate authority, there's not. I have the authority! My solicitors rang up social services! You can't stop me from seeing my children! Actually, yes, I can, and I will, for their safety. Mum! They won't let me see you. I'm sorry, Mrs Walker. These are my children! I have rights! What on earth is going on? This is Mrs Walker. She says she's come to see her children. We can't let you. Why can't we see our mum? This has got nothing to do with you, Paul. Go back to your room. You are not allowed to do this! Mrs Walker, please calm down. Calm down? I'm not the one who's being unreasonable. Yeah, leave our family alone. That's enough. You can't stop us from seeing our mum. Mrs Walker, please come into this room so we can talk in private. If my children want to see me, then how can you stop them? Anyway, I'm to allow you to see your children, and we do have the right to stop you. Gillian Tutt, Social Services. Perhaps somebody would like to explain to me what's going on. You're only allowed to see your children if we let you. My solicitor organised it. I need to speak to John. As I've already said, John's been taken off the case. From now on, you'll be dealing with me. Well, I need to speak to him. Whose idea was it to involve a solicitor? That's my business. You know, you won't win. You've failed your family too many times. You don't understand. I think I do, Mrs Walker. I think I do. We'll see. How are they treating you? Fine. But do you think that God cares for us? <laughs> I know he does, James. I'm scared. We want to go home. I know you do, I know. What's going to happen next? I don't know. But God's in control. All right, I think that's enough now. Before we face the music, how strong is their case? It's difficult to say. I mean, it could go either way. Oh, okay. Mrs. Walker, you've set a date in court to regain the legal rights of your children? I hope today we can convince you to see reason. May I state for the record that the manner in which the Walker case was dealt with was wholly professional. That said, it is now our duty to ensure a satisfactory conclusion. Um, perhaps you could update us? Do you think they'll let us go home? They won't listen. They think they know us best and that's it. What are you doing? Praying. I could see that she needed support, so I offered my help as a friend. And I even treated her children as if they were my own. But she was so imbalanced, and she would freak out at me and, and, and scream at me for, for no reason. So I just thought it best to leave before you know, she got any worse. Well, thank you for coming in today, George. Your contribution has been invaluable. But when the mother appeared, both boys became very... upset. But all children in my care, they're treated with the same love and respect. They were all well looked after and generally very happy. Thank you, Ruth. That's been really good. Thank you for coming in. We got 
regarding the letter from Mrs. Walker's personal psychiatrist, all the checks have been made and it's quite clear that Dr. Lloyd is highly regarded in his profession. Where does she find the money to pay for all this? I don't know, I have no idea. And what about the children? I think it's clear from the evidence that the children have never been happy. And this forms the basis for her case, does it? Not her case, no. So, what do you mean? It's not Mrs. Walker who brought the case. What do you mean it's not Mrs. Walker? Well, who on earth is it then? I thought you knew. Knew what? Right, well, someone please tell me what's going on. It's not Mrs. Walker who filed the case. It's my children. As has been done before. There's a legal standing for it. Mrs. Walker, I'm sure you're aware that the children's well-being has been at the heart of every action we've taken. We cannot leave important decisions to the emotional whim of a child. Their future has to be decided for them. Do you concede that Mary is in a fit state to care for her children? Yes. And have you asked the boys what they want? We have it on paper record that the boys submitted to our recommendations. And did the boys sign anything? No, of course not. Then it can hardly be used as evidence. And where's your evidence, Miss Grace? Can I speak? I'm not a strong woman, and I've failed my family. But God be my witness, I have changed. I'm here today to ask for my family back, and I can confidently say that I will not fail them again. My boys have told you that they want to come home. Please, listen to them. They are my children. And I love them dearly, and they love me. We need facts, not feelings, Mrs. Hall. If you can provide solid proof that the boys are unhappy and want to come home, then we could consider it. Well, we don't have solid proof, but there is evidence to suggest that the boys are unhappy. Well, I think that settles it then. Where's it going? I'm really sorry, Mary, they're right. We don't have any legal proof. Truly sorry. You've been like that for ages. Come on now, enough is enough. Please, make us a family again. Please. Mrs. Walker, I've heard nothing today to challenge our position, other than your word, which I'm inclined to ignore based on your past actions. There's absolutely no evidence that the boys will be better off at home. Therefore, we remain adamant that the boys will be best served under our continuing authority. Mrs. Walker, just give up now and trust that we have made the right decision for everyone. Please, tell my family. What on earth? You are suspended from this case. Please leave now. I can't allow this to go on. Sorry, Gillian. This is so out of order. Gillian, uh, let him here and speak. I have nothing to say that Mary hasn't already said. Then what on earth are you doing here? I have something to show you. Come on now, Paul. You, you've got to say something about yourself. I want to go home and live with my mum. You know your mum's not well. I believe she's better. Why don't you? I want the same as Paul. Boys, come on. You know you're never going home. I pray every day to live with my mum and my brother. If God wants this to happen, you can't stop me. I know my mum tried to kill herself, but she doesn't even need forgiving. I still love her. If we're a family, we can help each other. We should be at home, together. Paul, please. All right, if you want to look after me, you can. But you'll have to look after James as well. And just so you know, I will run away. It is therefore the decision of this panel to allow Paul and James Walker to return to their mother, Mary. And subject to a successful probation period, all parental rights will be reinstated. You've made me a laughing stock. You did a pretty good job of that on your own. Get out of my sight. John? Thank you, thank you so much. 
Just please, it's all worked out. Well done, you. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm delighted for you. I really appreciate what you've done. I did try to do the right thing. You do know that. I know. There'll be a formal review in six weeks to check that everything's okay. And it will be. Happy Christmas, Mary. Happy Christmas, John. An animal shed was a humble place for the Son of God to be born. But he came to this earth for the wretched and broken, for those without hope. His love is unmerited and undeserved, a love freely given that gives strength to the weak and hope to the despised. As the Bible says, God chose the despised and foolish things of this world to confound the wisdom of the wise. Even in the face of adversity, a Christian can cope because of the love of Jesus. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. May the love Christ has shown to us also be demonstrated in our love for him, our love for our families, and our love for all people. Amen. You'd like to open a present early? Yeah. <laughs> That's for you. Thanks, Mum. This one's for you. Thanks, Mum. I noticed you'd lost your old one. It's perfect. <laughs> I want to wish them a Merry Christmas while tomorrow. It's really thoughtful, James. Mum, before Dad died, he helped me pray. And we talked about being a Christian. I didn't really understand then, but I think I do now. It's really good, James. That's really good. Come on.